now let's welcome in into our living sanctuaries into your living sanctuary zone tonight come on ask God we welcome you here in our living sanctuaries we welcome you tonight come on we welcome him in our hearts we welcome to come and move we welcome him in tonight hallelujah to move in our lives come on welcome say Lord you're welcome you're welcome here you're welcome to move in me, God. Come on. Come on. Worship him. Come on. Open up your mouth and worship. Come on. Lord, we desire you. Come on. Yes, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you, Lord. We welcome you to have your way in us. Come on. Come on. Pull on them. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're here for him. This We're here for him tonight. Come on. We want him to move in us. We want him to have his way in us. Come on. Open up your mouth and worship. Come on, let him in, let him in, let him in, let him in. Let him in. Let him in. Let's us on tonight but can you do me a favor and put your hands together for the greatest leaders on this side of town come on come on give it up for your leader on tonight pastor Sean Edwards come on come on come on and his lovely wife come on lady Gwen Edwards come on make some noise come on hallelujah let the devil know you got some great leaders Come on. Hallelujah. And put your hands together for yourself. Come on. We thank God that you hear every minister, every, every preacher. Come on. We bless God for you too. Look at somebody and say, we bless God for you too. Amen. I bless God for you too. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. I believe this is my third Friday being in church. Hallelujah. Back to back. But I give God praise. Amen. For being in the house of the Lord on tonight in a place I've never been, but a place, amen, that I have enjoyed being in thus far. 
Amen. I praise God for you and your great hospitality, great leadership, excellency. I thank God for you. Amen. We need more people like you in the kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. Amen. Yes, Lord. Can I tell y'all a little secret? Amen. Y'all house about to be overflowing like never before. The walls are going to bust out. Hallelujah. Get ready for, look at somebody say, get ready for overflow. Get ready. Get ready for over. Y'all need to get excited about what God's going to do. Hallelujah. He's making room for more. Yes, Lord, the walls are going to burst open. I'm seeing God move. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. They say people don't go to church no more, but the devil is a liar. Amen. Somebody say God's about to fill this house and cause it to overflow. Say, look at somebody say, get ready for the overflow. Get ready. Amen. Get ready for the overflow. Get ready. And this is nothing that you, you haven't heard before, but get ready for the overflow. I came to confirm, amen, what God has already said to your leaders, what God has already spoken to this house. Get ready for what God is about to do in this house. Sundays are going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Look at somebody say, it's going to get crazy up in here. It's ready to get crazy. Oh, it's about to get crazy up in here. Yes, Lord. Y'all believe that? Come on, give God praise. Amen. I believe that there's a word from the Lord on tonight. Y'all, minister, minister, I hope I don't say her name wrong, but minister, she said like the banana. Praise the Lord. Uh, Shakita. Shakita. Can y'all give it up for minister Shakita? Amen. Amen. Awesome gift to the body of Christ. Amen. You need people like Minister Shakita. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's go to the word of the Lord. I was praying, asking the Lord for a word for this particular house, for this season, for this particular service on uh, tonight. And I want to draw your attention to this book of St. John, um, to the second chapter of St. John. And I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. And I will be reading verses 1 through 11. Amen. The dancers were amazing. Amen. The dancers were amazing. The praise team was amazing. I said I could just stay right here and enjoy church. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I was like, if I was in um, Birmingham, Alabama, where can I sign up? Where can I join? This is the type of church. Amen. Amen. The church that you want to belong to. Amen. If you're a member here, you ought to give God praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The house is full on a Friday night. Y'all ought to give God praise. That's it. Excellent leadership. Amen. Excellent leadership. When you have it, can you just rest on your feet with me? Amen. Second John, St. John. Amen. The word of the Lord. Amen. When you have it, say amen. If you don't, say wait on me. Amen. On the third day, there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now, both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. Jesus said to her, woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. Now, there were set there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. 
Jesus said to them, fill the water part, parts with water. And they filled them up to the brim. And he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from. But the servants who had drawn the water knew. The master of the feast called the bridegroom and he said to him, every man at the beginning sets out the good wine. And when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, you have kept the good wine until now. <laughs> this begins of sign, beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. May God bless the reading of his word and may it be accomplished in your life. Do me a favor. I need you to talk to your neighbor on either side of you and say neighbor. Something divine is happening. <laughs> you believe it. I need you to look at another neighbor on the other side. Say neighbor. Something divine is happening. You believe that tonight. Put your hands together. Clap them like you believe it and say something divine is happening. Yes, Lord. Father God, I ask you to sit Angelique down, begin to speak through these lips of clay, words of understanding, clarity of thought. Father, I pray that you move the deaf ear and the stony heart and speak a word in the life of a believer here today. In Jesus' name we pray. All of God's people say amen. amen. Say something divine, something divine is happening. Let's talk for a few moments. Our dialogue comes from the book of John, the book of John. And when we look at the book of John, we understand that this particular book is placed among the gospels. But something is peculiar about John's gospel. The other three gospels are noted as synoptic gospels because they seem to relate and are very parallel to each other and they can easily be compared because they tell similar stories or accounts of Jesus ministry but John somehow differs significantly from the synoptics in terms of Christology Mm -hmm. which is the field and study within Christ theology, which is concerned with uh, the nature of Jesus Christ. Christology is concerned with the details of Jesus, is concerned with the details of Jesus' ministry, the acts and the teachings to arrive at a clear understanding of who he is in his personage and his role in salvation. It is determined to prove that he is the anointed without a doubt. It deals with Christ's humanity. It deals with his deity and his incarnation. Unlike, uh, John is unlike the synoptics because he deals with the central theme of Christology which deals with the pre-existence of Jesus. In particular, how does the divine and the human are related in him. He is generally less concerned with the details of Jesus' life, where he is born. He left that to Luke. Where, uh, who is his mama? Who is daddy? John is more concerned with how the human and the divine coexist. In one person, he is to determined to show us his deity, God and man together. 
together. That's why John doesn't start Jesus' existence with his birth on earth because that's not his beginning, not his true existence. Uh -uh. He doesn't begin with Jesus in time, in chronos, but eternity. And so we get to find out, John says in John 1 and 1, in the beginning, beginning was the word mm -hmm. and the word was with God and the word was God the same was in the beginning with God all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made in him was life and the life was the light of men John wants us to know we are not dealing with an ordinary man although he is God in flesh he is not an ordinary man John wants us to know he pre-existed he was before he became Hallelujah. He is God before he became man. John need us to understand that this is God operating in the flesh. But don't dismiss his deity. His divine status. Somebody shout something divine is happening. Uh -huh. John in chapter 2 starts out by declaring on the third day was a marriage. The marriage is not the important factor here. What happens at the, at the wedding is what is important. The problem that happens at the wedding is not the focal point here. Mm -mm. The enemy will always want to take us off focus. So you got to be careful because his job is to take us off focus. He wants y'all to focus on the problem, mm -hmm. not the one who can fix the problem. Yes, Lord. The focal point here is that a miracle is getting ready to take place. I need you to know tonight that God is getting ready to set up a miracle for you. I'm glad. I look at somebody and say, neighbor, I'm glad you're sitting on my row. Yes, Lord. Because I believe that a miracle is going to happen mm -hmm. on my row. I dare you to give him praise because a miracle is coming to you. I dare you to give him praise because a miracle is coming to your house. I tell you to give him a miracle, a praise because God is going to cause a miracle to your situation. If you believe it on tonight, I dare you to open up your mouth and say, Lord, I thank you for the miracle that is about to happen for me. Yes, Lord. Ah, yes, sit, sit, sit. Let's talk some more. I need you to know that a miracle is getting ready to happen. Something supernatural is getting ready to take place. Stop focusing on your problem <laughs> and start expecting your miracle. Who, where are you? Where are you? Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, miracle, come to my house. Miracle, come to where I am. Put your focus on God tonight. Hallelujah. And stop believing that God is about to work a miracle for you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The third day. The number three is significant because the number three takes on the meaning of divine. It takes on the, on the meaning of completeness. When you see the number three, it means something divine is happening. Uh, God is completing what he started. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. He's completing the work in your life. Yes, Lord. He comes to complete what he has started. Yes, Lord. He comes to complete what he has started with you. I need you to know he's not just a starter, but he's a finisher. I need you to know that he's alpha. Hey, yes, Lord, and omega. He is the beginning and the ending. He will finish everything he started in your life. I tell 
you to shout. He's getting ready to finish it with me. He's getting ready. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Rabba Katataboho. Rabba Nsheke Yatanamanso. He's about to finish it. Here, John is simply letting us know that there is something divine about to take place at this wedding. This is not an ordinary wedding. The hand of God is about to move here. What is about to be done can only be done by God. I feel a divine presence. Do you feel him? He's about to work a miracle, I told you. We want the divine work of God here. Yes, Lord. He's about to do something out of the ordinary for some people that is in this room. He's about to do something extraordinary. Yes, Lord. He's about to do the unexplainable. Tell somebody, get ready, get ready, get ready. Oh, yabakatoshe, get ready, get ready, get ready. This next move is going to be a move of God, not flesh. You got to understand something divine is about to take place. Yes, Lord, we've been seeing flesh too long. But God said, I'm about to cause a divine manifestation of my presence in the earth realm. He said, I'm about to do something divine. We're going to see divine healing. We're going to see God fulfill his divine purpose. We're going to see God fulfill divine power in the earth realm. In the next move, oh my God, say God's about to move in the manifestation of his glory where no one can get the credit but God. Hallelujah, not your mama, not your daddy. Hallelujah, not your bank account. Only person that's going to get the glory is God. I dare you to shout right here, say God, reveal your glory. Reveal your glory. Cause the supernatural of the Holy Ghost to move. God show forth your glory. Yes, Lord. Show forth your glory. Show forth your glory. It's a wedding. It's a wedding. It's a wedding. A marriage. It's a covenant binding ceremony where two individuals, two hearts are being connected as one. So Lord, why here? Why here? Why show up here? Why do your first miracle right here? Why? Ah, I need somebody to understand. It's a private situation, but ah, a public occasion. Only certain people are invited. That makes it private. But what is about to take place at the wedding will become a public announcement. I don't know where you are. When it's all over, there will be a public announcement of who he is in your life. Yes, Lord comes to announce who he is in the earth realm. But I'm going to announce who I am through you. Who are you? Through your deliverance, where are you? Through breakthrough, where are you? Through healing, where are you? What you've been going through has been private. Where are you? But what God's about to do in your life is going to shut up the mouths of your enemy. Yes, that's been questioning who God is in your life. Tell somebody, get ready. Hallelujah. You've been wondering how long. You've been wondering why you. But God said, I'm getting ready to do something. Hallelujah. In your private situation. Hallelujah. Yes, he's about to make an announcement in your life. You've been going through privately where are you but God's about to show out on you publicly he's about to let the world know who you are you went through privately you went through the pain you went through the hurt you went through the suffering you didn't tell nobody you went through privately but God said I'm about to bless you publicly where are you tonight because God said I'm about to bless you you were suffering in private but God said I'm getting ready to bless you in public where are you because you didn't give up on me where are you God say thank you thank you because you did oh Rabbi he said thank you thank you because you didn't give up on me you could have gave up on me but you kept on praying you didn't give up on me you kept on worshiping you could have gave up on me but you kept on blessing me I feel the pride. I feel the public blessing getting ready to hit you hallelujah come on give him praise that's right give him praise come on he's getting ready to bless you he's getting ready to 
to show out for you. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Let's. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And so there's a dilemma. There's a dilemma has taken place. And when there is a dilemma in your life, it's important that he shows up. Oh, tell somebody he's about to show up here because he's a covenant keeper. Just said that Abakaya had not a covenant breaker. No, 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 no. And so because he's a covenant keeper and not a covenant breaker, guess what? He keeps his promises. Ah, well, the prayer warriors, you got to know. Hallelujah. He's about to confuse somebody's enemy. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel change in somebody's life. Oh, Rabakaya. Yes, Lord, by the time you get back home, everything, hallelujah, is going to be changed. The Lord just told me to tell you he's about to confuse your enemy. If that's you, you ought to give God praise right there. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Somebody ought to show up. Show up for me, God. Oh, show up for me. Yes, Lord. Show up. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He likes chaos. We don't like chaos, but he likes hallelujah because when chaos in our life comes that gives him opportunity to come and show the devil who he is hallelujah some people running from chaos but when chaos happened it's a case for God to show out and give you what he needs Lord have mercy somebody say show up show up show up he'll show up like he showed up for Abraham he can't resist when you need him don't you panic because he'll show up as Jehovah Jireh. Somebody say he's about to show up. Hallelujah. He couldn't resist the Hebrew boys. He showed up for them. Come on. Hallelujah. I came to tell you. He's getting ready to sit down in your chaos. Hallelujah. He got to show the enemy who he is. He got to show him that he is I am. Just in case you didn't know. I'm still I am. Somebody shout he's still I am. I feel something divine taking place. Somebody say something divine is taking place. And so he has to show up. He has to show up. And the Bible said, John makes it clear on the third day, something divine is happening. And so when something divine happens, it means something has to be resurrected that has been dead. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody is about to be set free from every demonic force every form of wickedness yes Lord oh it tried to bind you it tried to keep you from moving but tonight somebody say you're going to be loose tonight you're going to be loose when something divine takes place guess what a resurrection will occur that means somebody is coming out of your dead place tonight uh -huh. Oh, yes, Lord. It tried to bury you. Who am I talking to? Because you in the room. But God said resurrection is getting ready to happen in your life. I feel restoration about to take place in somebody's life on tonight. I feel restitution. You getting ready to get some stuff back too. Hallelujah. That the devil stole from you. Oh, I feel it. Somebody shout everything that the devil tried to take right there I tell you Rabbi Kandor Yoshamaya every tenement show yes Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus yes Lord let me get back to the story the Bible declares that there was a dilemma it was a dilemma because the dilemma was they ran out of wine <laughs> they ran out of wine and some of you in here, uh, God's got to step in because you ran out. Oh, Lord. You ran out of patience, Lord. You ran out of peace, Lord. You ran out of hope. Oh, my God. Ah, yes, Lord. Somebody say, I ran out. I ran out. I ran out. 
Yes, Lord, you were trying, but you ran out, ran out, you ran out. Oh, and why is wine so important? And wine is important because when he talked to his disciples in the upper room, yes, Lord, he told them, he said, when he poured the wine in the glass, he said, this is for my New Testament blood. He said, because of this, as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Why? We got to remember your blood. We got to remember the shedding of your blood because if it wasn't for the shedding of your blood, there would be no remission of our sins. There would be no resurrection power. And so Rhine represents blood and no covenant is good without blood. Yes, Lord. That's why it was important that he tell Abraham, go sacrifice your son. But it was just symbolic to what he was going to do. He said, that's okay. I'll do it by myself. I swear by my own self. Hallelujah. Because your blood can't do it for me. I need Jesus' blood. Look at somebody say, I need Jesus' blood. His blood is important. Say the blood is important. That's why when the devil sees the blood, he's got to back up y'all don't understand why we use the blood we apply the blood because the blood represents God's power because of his sacrificial lamb Jesus Christ the beginning of Moses miracles was turning water into blood oh Lord and Jesus now he's turning water into wine yes Lord why because he needs us to know that what the blood represents tell your neighbor say we need the blood we need the blood and so we apply the blood and that's why in Egypt my God when the firstborn was killed in Egypt he said put the blood on the door Israel because when I put the blood apply the blood on the door the enemy is coming but he's gonna pass over you tell your neighbor you don't know why you got out what you got out it was the blood you don't understand why the car accident didn't take you over Somebody shout, it was the blood. You don't understand why you came out of the situation that you came out. Somebody shout, it was the blood. Hallelujah. Somebody say, the blood still works. The blood, I know I never cut the bullshit. It ain't an old school saying. The blood still works. I never can tell you why he was on the cross. They would thought he was going to be defeated, but he couldn't be defeated. It was a bloody mess, but I bloody mess because every shine of blood caused the blood to gain power for me. You ought to thank him for the blood on tonight. Hallelujah. Say, I thank you for your blood. I thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Some of y'all need to go home and start going through your house and say the blood here. You need to go in your child's room and shout the blood here. You worried about how they go come out worried about how they gon' change. You better go back to the old remedies. Somebody say it's gonna take the blood. It's gonna take the blood. Y'all putting them on medicine, but I dare you to get some oil and say the blood of Jesus. I apply the blood here. I apply the blood to Johnny's mind. I apply the blood to Sally's mind. Somebody shout the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Blood still works. Let me get back. I'm almost there. Somebody shout the blood. blood. Hallelujah. And so the Bible said, Lady, quit. They ran out. And the problem with some of you in church, you ran out. They went empty. Uh -huh. you dealing with emptiness. You're empty. You feel empty. You feel depleted. <laughs> Some of you say, I don't have no more to give. You ran empty. That's why it's hard for you to get back. It ain't the pandemic, it's you. Uh, I got to talk to someone who has run out of what they need to survive. He was about to do a miracle here because they ran on empty. 
and some of you have been running on empty for a season. <laughs> you don't even know how you make it. You lost your momentum. Somebody said you ran empty. And you need your momentum back. You lost your drive. But God said tonight I come to revive you. <laughs> it's revival time. So the Bible says. Jesus mother comes to him. And he says. They don't have no more wine. <laughs> they don't have no wine. And so if we don't have any more wine. It's over. Uh, somebody say, but I'm not ready for it to be over. I'm not ready to quit. I'm not ready. No, 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 no. Somebody say, it can't be over for my family. It can't be over for my children. It can't be over for my community. It can't be over for my city. It can't be over for my state. Say, I got one more praise left in me. Where are you? I don't know that's going to give me the breakthrough. I got one more prayer. Hallelujah. It's going to break the chain off of my child I got one more dance hallelujah that was gonna cost me a miracle I'm not ready to say bye I'm not ready to quit on God I'm not ready to quit on ministry where are you I dare you to my God say I'm reviving you tonight I come to revive you tonight I come for you tonight yes Lord the Bible said let me hurry up the Bible said let me hurry up the Bible said let me hurry up says uh, that he begins uh, she begins to tell Jesus uh, he said go and do this miracle uh, he said wait a minute wait a minute uh, he said I can't do it right now uh, he said because my time has not come uh, oh lord uh, but it's gonna be a time when his time does come uh, hallelujah but he says this is not my time uh, and what he was talking about uh, his messianic hour uh, where the full glory yes lord uh, will come upon he said the full manifestation of his glory that's what he was talking about what hour the hour where the greatest glory will appear he said no 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 and what you got to understand with some of you are what you're dealing with in this season what you're feeling with oh my God in this season look at your neighbor say neighbor God is not refusing you what God is trying to do is put you in his timing. Tell your neighbor your time is coming. Well, destiny and manifestation will come together. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, this is not my timing, but God's going to give me a time when the full glory of why he called me, where the full glory of what he showed me will come into Manifestation. Tell your neighbor something divine is happening. The Bible said that he said, Go get those six pots. He said, They were sitting in the corner. I said, Lord, why six pots? He said, In that corner. He said, Because sometimes y'all move out of place before time. Yes, Lord, but this season, you got to be in the right place for the right time. For God to use you, you ought to shout tonight and say, God, let me stay in the right place. I gotta understand, I gotta be in the right place. There were six parts, they were already in the corner. I said, What six parts? It becomes the number of six means the number of man. And what I want to do, I want to do something new in man. The Bible tells us that they were proof. Because of what was about to take place, they had him in the corner purifying. I came to tell somebody that thought it was over for you, but God told me to tell you, my God, it wasn't your season yet, and you had to go through the process. Hallelujah! Tell somebody, say, neighbor, keep on going through the process, even when you. Going through the process, hallelujah. Even 
even when you're frustrated, keep on going through the process. When they don't like you, keep on going through the process. Lord, have mercy. Tell three people, keep on going through the process. The devil gonna make you wanna make you get out of place. But I gotta stay in the right place. Because when I stay in the right place, when the right time comes, he's gonna call you out of the corner. Tell three people, you're about to get called out of the corner. But you gotta be ready when you come out of the corner. Get ready to come out of the corner. Get ready for God to use you. Get ready for God to do what he said he was going to do in you. That's a good place to bless him. That's a good place to praise him. That's a good place to glorify him. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil mess you up in this season. Hallelujah. Don't let the devil mess you up and get in your emotions. This is not the season to get in your emotions. Say, God, help me to stay in the right place. Help me to stay in the right posture. Help me to have the right attitude. Help me to serve right. Help me to love right. Help me to pray right. Help me to sing right. Help me, God. Somebody shout, help me, God. So help me, God. The Bible said, he said, come on, put the water in the pot. He said, put the water in the pot. You got to understand it was new pots. Because guess what, y'all? Y'all want to keep dumping stuff. Hallelujah, my God. You want to put new wine in old wine skins. God said, I can't do it like that. I got to do something new. I got to do something new in you. I got to do something new with you. Lord, where are you? Somebody ought to shout, Lord, I need you to do something new in me. Yes, Lord, I need you to do something new in me. Yes, make it personal. You hear the night say, God, I need you to do something new in me. We ain't just come. Hallelujah, just a hand church. We come for your breakthrough. We ain't just come. We a move of God, somebody shout and say, Lord, do something new in me. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The Bible said, the Bible said, after they did the wine, they took it to the governor. When the governor saw the wine, the governor said, mm, this tastes good. Yes, Lord. He said, this tastes good. I said, Lord, he said, you saved the best for now. Look at somebody say, neighbor, he's saving the best for last. Uh -huh. See, God, God's got to help some of y'all. Because uh -huh. some of y'all don't like being last. Yes, Lord. But can I tell you, he's about to turn some things around for those who are last. Lord, have mercy. Yes, yes, you thought God forgot about you you was watching everybody else get blessed in your house you was watching everybody else get blessed in your family you was watching your neighbor get blessed but can I tell you he's about to cause blessings to flow hallelujah you ought to praise him right there thank God for making you last because the last is about to be first I dare you to show it yourself and say God is getting ready to make me first God is getting ready to make me first you ought to let the devil know tonight cause he been messing with y'all hallelujah but God is getting ready to make you first look at somebody say he's saving the best for last I got happy I got excited I got happy I got excited because God decided to do something new. He decided to do something that they ain't never seen. The next thing, tell your neighbor, say neighbor, it's not a refusal. It's about timing. Number two, say neighbor, I got to stay in the right place. 
<laughs> Number three, say neighbor. The reason why he could call the wine, the reason why he could call the water pots out of the corner. <laughs> oh, Lord, because they were ready. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord. I came to tell about 20 y'all tonight. God said, get ready because this is your season because you're ready. Hallelujah. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. He had to do some things in you before. Yeah. Yeah. Before you got ready. Where are you? Hallelujah. He said, now draw it out. I don't know where you are. He said, now I'm about to draw out of you what I placed in you. If you're ready, you ought to give him praise. Shout, I'm ready. I'm ready for God to do it in me. I'm ready for God to move in me. Yes, at first you was arrogant. First you were full of pride. You were full of flesh. He said, I had to humble you. Yes, Lord, where are you? He said, now I can use you. Now you're patient. Now you have compassion. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Now you know it's not all about you now you know it's all about God you ought to give him praise shout I'm ready I'm ready for you to use me I'm ready for you to bless me I'm ready for you to do what you said you ought to give him praise because you're ready you ought to give him praise because you're ready you ought to give him praise yes Lord say yes Lord say yes Lord Hallelujah. What I love about it. I love it about touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, don't get stuck on you. Don't get stuck on you. Because some of y'all get stuck on you. But God said, I can't get the glory when you're stuck on you. Yes, Lord. He got to put you in a posture where God can get the glory. Where are you? I dare you to shout, Lord, get the glory. The governor was saying, he said, wait a minute. He said, you saved the best for last. I looked at the story. I said, God, your reputation now is preceding you. He said, Angelique, you got to tell them because they're ready. My reputation in them is going before them. It's going to precede them. So when you go to the hospitals, Lord have mercy, get ready, my God. In Jesus' name, they get ready to get up. In Jesus' name, they got to be healed. When you go on the street corner, in Jesus' name, they're going to be delivered. You're going to be like Peter and John. Hallelujah. When they get to the gate, beautiful, they say, silver and gold have I not. But such as I have, in Jesus' name, touch a neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm taking Jesus with me. I'm taking it on my job. I'm taking it in my neighborhood. I'm taking it to my family. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor. Your overflow is about to happen in this house. I'm taking Jesus with me. I'm taking Jesus. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Yes, Lord. The last thing I need to tell you. Everybody stand. We are back on the Amansa. Tell your neighbor something divine is happening. Look at somebody say something divine is happening. Look at somebody say something divine is happening. Holy Spirit, have your way. Something divine. Something divine is happening. Something divine. Yes, Lord. Show me. Say, I, I, dare, I dare empower to say, Lord, we ready. Hallelujah. I say, I dare empower to say, Lord, we ready. Oh, yes, Lord. I dare empower to say, Lord, we ready. We ready for everything that you have stored up for us. Hallelujah. The Bible declares that after Jesus finished, after they tasted the wine, after he performed the miracle, that's when Jesus went out and started his ministry. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, when we leave here, <laughs> we're being released to do the will of God. Tell your neighbor God is releasing you. He's releasing every minister. He's releasing every prophet. He's releasing every young girl. He's releasing every young boy. He's releasing every male. He's releasing every, every family. So God is releasing us. Jesus was 
Lord. We need a refilling, a refreshing, a revival. And I just believe it's getting ready to begin in this house with this people. Yes, Lord. Tonight, you say, Pastor Simmons, you were speaking to me. I need that. I need the fresh wind of the Holy Ghost. I need a refreshing. I need a refilling. I need a revival. I need a reminder <laughs> that it wasn't about me. I needed a reminder that I can no longer operate in my flesh. I needed a reminder that God must get the glory. Not me. I cannot get God's glory. We want you, Lord. We want you, Lord, to get the glory. That was you. Come on. Meet me at the altar. That was you. Yes, Lord. I need you, Lord. Come on. Come on from wherever you are. Come on. Don't be afraid. Come on. Come on. I don't care about your title. Come on. Make room. Make room. Come on. You need to flood this altar. Come on. Come on. Rabaka, come on, you need to flood this altar. Yet to Rabahosha. You need to flood this. Yebeko Rabahaya. Come on. Make room. Make room. Make room. Rabba, you need to flood this Odabakaya. Yes, Yebehe Roshia. Come on. We surrendering to him tonight. We ayama na na na. He's gonna touch us. He's gonna fill us. Come on, make room. Yebekia Shabaya. Yes, Lord, come on, come on, make room, make room. Yebeke Rabba Haya. Rabba Nana Bahaya Naya. Yadana Baho. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, Yala Bahaya. Yadana Bahaya Bahaya. Yes, Lord. We need your Holy Spirit to fall afresh in this room. We need your Holy Spirit to fall afresh on us tonight. Come on. I cannot leave the same way. I cannot leave the same way. I've been on empty long enough. I cannot. Come on. Breathe on us tonight, Lord. Breathe in this room. Breathe on your people. Come on. Open up your mouth because he's breathing. Open up your mouth because he's breathing. Shut up. 
one accord. Put us on one accord. Put us on one accord. Put us on one accord. I come against division. I come against schisms. I come against isms. I come against anything that comes to block. I come against everything that comes to hinder. This house, you know, a Korea higher. This people come on. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus, move. Lord, I hurt people, but God, I don't want to hurt people no more. God, I don't want to be the reason why we can't grow. I don't want to be in the way. Move me out of the way. Yes, Lord. Worship, worship, come on, worship. Come on, he's here. Worship, worship. Come on, one more time. Come on, worship, worship. Come on, worship, worship. Come on, worship, worship. Holy Ghost, have your way. Give Holy Ghost boldness. Give Holy Ghost Yes, the pastor been praying. Everything the pastor been praying for. Everything that the leader's been praying for. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, oh God, fulfill the vision in this house with this people. In the name of Jesus, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, do it, Lord. Fresh wind of the Holy Ghost. Be your portion in the name of Ahia. Oh, yes, Lord. Do it, Father, in the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Come on, come on, work in Ahia. Fresh wind of your presence, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God, breathe. Yes, come on, seek him. He's here. Seek him. He's here. Come on, seek him. 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 Come on
the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Call us to feel complete in you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Cause us to feel complete in you. Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Thank you for fresh revelation. Yes, Lord. We worship you. We worship you. Yes, Lord. Rabbi Shai. Something divine is happening. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Something divine. Yes, Lord. Cause divine connections. Cause divine alignment. Cause divine successes. Cause divine purpose. In the name of the Yoshiba. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. As you get up and go back to your seat, just hug somebody and say something divine is happening. Come on, tell them something divine is happening. Come on, tell them. So the Baha'i are Ho! Yes, Lord. Something divine is happening. Something divine. Something divine. Oh, something divine, something divine is happening. Yeah, na 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 na. Something. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Can you point your hands to your leaders, Lord? I pray a second win. for everything that you must complete Haraman Sokoya in the next five years. I pray a second win. Uravakaya. <laughs> I pray a Amos 9 and 13 anointing upon you. Yes, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for clear vision. <laughs> I thank you for clear understanding. I thank you, Lord, for divine connections. God said, I'm going to give you divine connections. Because <laughs> some things God's going to cause people to give to you. In the name of Jesus. God is some people some God sending some people that is going to be connected to you and they're going to be the people that's going to sow and you already have some but God said I'm adding some more to you I'm adding more to you God said I'm adding more to you I'm adding more to you because the more I add to you you'll be able to stretch out to the places that I need you to stretch out to. God said, I'm adding more. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God said, I'm pouring. Hallelujah. I'm giving you fresh revelation. I pray for you. I pray for your family. Yes, Lord. And I hear the Lord say, I can trust you too. I can trust you. Haramansa, I can trust you. Ramansa, he said, Dabansha, I can trust you and the woman of God. I can trust you with my people. Hey, ho, Shabakataya, Ramane, God said, Ramane, I can trust you with my people. Ramane, you have a heart for the people. Ramane, 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 Yes, Lord. He said, I'm giving you more because I can trust you with more. Hadamay, I can trust you with more. Rabbi, I can trust you to love on the people. I can 
trust you to love on the people. I can trust you to love on the people. I can trust you to bring healing to the people. I can trust you. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, undergird them for what God is going to do. Yes, Lord. He said, I can trust you like I trust Moses. I can trust you with my people. I can trust you. I hear the Lord saying, I can trust you with my people. I can trust you to feed my people. I can trust you to love my people. I can trust you to care for my people. God said, I can trust you, man of God. Woman of God, he said, I can trust you. And that is why I'm blessing you. Hallelujah. And that's why the blessings of the Lord is going to overtake you. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let's bless God for the man and the woman of God. Come on, let's bless him, God. Let's bless God empowerment. Come on. Come on. Stand on your feet and bless God. Come on. Come on. Stand on your feet and bless him. Come on. Come on. Stand on your feet and give him praise. Give him glory. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, something divine is happening in empowerment. Watching us on live stream or replay, give us a follow on our social media platforms. Facebook and Instagram at Empowerment Word Church. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Empowerment Word Church on YouTube. There you will find all the sermons and teachings from EWC Weekly. While watching, hit the thumbs up icon. As always, be empowered to change the world and we'll see you next week.